Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kyra and today we are doing a get ready with me using all the things that I purchased when I smashed my notepad. <music> As I told you guys in my no buy finale, when I decided intentionally to end my no buy, I did purchase quite a bit. In fact, it is nearly a full face, if not a full face. So today I'm going to get ready with those products. This is kind of my version of hauling these products. I know that hauls can be triggering for those people, my friends who are still on low and no buys. So I thought I'd do it this way so everybody could get some enjoyment out of this video. So that's why I'm looking a little crazy. So let's get started. I just have skincare on and the first new product I'm going to use was a perk from Sephora and it's the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. <laughs> I've only used this once. It is very tiny. It did not come with the cute little... Um, little coin to scoop it out which is fine because I find that I'm able to apply it just by rubbing my finger into it. It has an herbally maybe even verging on minty scent to it which is enjoyable. It is slightly cooling on the skin when I apply it which is also enjoyable. I'm just going to be applying this in the areas where I would normally apply my primer, which is in my T-zone. I will review all of these products in some capacity in the future. I have started doing mini reviews of individual products over on my Instagram account, so if you aren't following me there, I would love to have you. We can chat some more over there. So the next new product is a foundation. Some of you may remember that through my no buy, I was really wanting a stick foundation and so this was definitely one of the first products I picked up. This is the L'Oreal Longwear Shaping Stick Foundation with Broad Spectrum SPF 20 and I got mine in the shade 404 Shell Beige. And again, I've only worn this once. so. I have no opinions on it other than I do love this stick formula because I find it to be really quick. I think it's kind of like with the um, physician's formula, the healthy foundation with the big old doe foot on there. I think I like it so much. I mean, it's a great foundation first and foremost, but I also think I really like it because it's just so quick table to take the doe foot, apply it, and then just go in with your brush or sponge or whatever you're going to do. And I kind of feel the same way about the stick foundation. And I like, I like quick, you know, I'm not always in a hurry when I get ready, but foundation is not <laughs> my favorite step of makeup. So I just assume get it done. definitely get a medium to full coverage look out of this that's just not my look <laughs> so all right concealer I will be using my hello fab bendy avocado but as I've mentioned in other videos this is more the shade of my skin versus a brightening so I did go ahead and pick up the Maybelline instant age rewind eraser um, multi-use concealer and I got mine in the brightener shade um, I just need um sometimes a brightening situation <laughs> on certain days and so I have been using and enjoying that uh, I do feel like the formula is a little dry and I do think it's very brightening and I remember trying this age rewind formula before in the past but I did get it in you know my shade and I just wasn't a big fan of that concealer I'm still not a big fan of the sponge so just going to put that a little bit in the cavern where I mostly like to brighten 
I don't generally struggle with dark circles, um, but it's nice to have the brightening shade on the days where I feel like I might have a little more darkness. You can kind of see the difference there, I think. For powder, this was another promo point thingy from Sephora, and it is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I've always been curious about this. I thought this would be the way to go. I have tried it on my under eye, and I didn't love it for that, so I am going to set my under eye with something different. This is definitely an experience. <laughs> it definitely feels wet when you put it on your face, which is kind of weird to me but interesting at the same time. Um, I have only used this on my under eye so far, so I'm excited to try it on the face today and see how it looks, how it feels, how it sets my makeup down. Next, I usually do my brows, and for this, I have nothing new. I'm going to use my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Ash Brown. One of the bronzers that I picked up when I smashed my no-buy was the Milk Makeup matte bronzing stick. Not going to use that today. I don't think cream products will be conducive to the kind of weather I'm going to be out in today, but you can be assured this is in my Shop My Stash for Summer, so I will be using this product in a get ready with me real soon. But for today, we're going to jump into the little Jouer, I forget the name, it's not on here, which is really annoying. Um, I'll put it on the screen, but I have mine in the medium to deep duo, and this is Sun Kissed and Sunset. And I have used this quite a bit. Looks like this. I tend to tap into the deeper shade and then a couple taps into lighter shade and go in like so. And it's definitely a shimmery formula. If you don't like a shimmery um, bronzer, then you won't like this one, but I love a shimmery bronzer. I think it blends to the skin nicely. It gives more life to my skin, in my opinion. You know, just, I don't like to have everything be matte and flat, and so I love this bronzer. I'm so glad that I ended up picking it up. So I hope by the time you guys are seeing this, I hope that you had a good 4th of July if you celebrate or were able to celebrate. Blush. For this, I am going to use a cream product. I picked up two. The first is the um, Flower Beauty Blush Bomb in the shade Pinched. This is gorgeous. It absolutely you can apply it over powder or whatever. It works really nicely for that. Again, I will use this in a future Get Ready With Me, but today I'm going to be using <laughs> a new shade in the L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick Blush in the shade Cheeky Dimension. You would have seen this in my Shop My Stash for Summer. I just think this is beautiful. I want a little bit more of a blushed look versus a subtle blush look. So I'm going to take this Real Techniques Buffing Brush, which I love for cream blushes, and I'm just going to stamp this where I would normally like my blush. And these L'Oreal sticks also work really well over powder, um, which I really appreciate because I frequently forget to do my cream products before I powder. So it is really nice. If you are, you know, a combo to oily gal like myself, you can always go back in with your powder or just the powder brush that you used and just powder or set the blush down and that works fine too. haven't tried any of these L'Oreal blush sticks, I think this is definitely the color that is more appropriate for medium to deeper skin tones. I'm just going to take my fluffy powder brush from yesterday and just lightly go over that because we do have a powder highlighter. I saw this as a promo again on Sephora and it is the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in the shade Coco Bling. Ooh, doggy. 
That's really pretty though. I think you'll be able to see it. Of course, I will have up close photos for you at the end of the video as I always do. I just wanted to try this. A lot of you received this um, type of product in BoxyCharm from Artist Couture and I just thought it looked so pretty. I've never tried a loose highlighter before so I thought why not. So let's see here. Oh there you could probably see it. <laughs> wow. So when I uploaded my Shot My Sash for Summer, I did tease you guys that I did have two more palettes that were going to be included in my Summer Shot My Stash, and one of them has arrived. Are we ready for this? I kind of cringe to show you guys this. I don't know what all of you will think, but it is the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. I have been wanting this for a long time. It's been on my wish list through my no buy, but I'm excited to try it today. I have not even swatched this yet. So, this is what she looks like. Isn't she pretty? I love it. Okay. Let's get into an eye look, shall we? I'm definitely going to use the mustard here called Dijon, but other than that, I have no idea. I think I'll start with this, so hard with this stupid flappy plastic, with this brown right here called Log. Very exciting. I know this is a nice cool tone brown, it would appear. exciting as it is, it is definitely blending out beautifully, but this is no surprise to me. If you don't know, I do also have the Natasha Denona Lila Leela palette, and I, you know, this particular matte anyways, it being the first shade that I'm trying in the palette, is definitely consistent with the mattes that I experienced in the Lila palette. It's time for some Dijon, which is such a good name for this. I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush for this and just blend out the edges of the brown ish and you know bring this all the way in. I have to dip into one of these blues. I'm going to take this shade, which is Aurora, this blue shade right here, and put that on the outer third of my lid. But before I do that, I'm going to do what I have been doing lately, and that is putting a little NYX glitter primer all over my lid. Even though this is not by any means a newer palette, I know you know, some of you may still appreciate a 3 Looks 1 palette with a review. This is definitely kind of, not kind of, it is my first impressions with this palette. So I won't do a separate video for that this time. But I do want to start doing that more. And as some other people have said, this is definitely darker than it looks in the pan, which I have no problem with. I'm going to try the phalange here. Um, and that is why I intentionally put this on the outer corner here. All right, I'm going to do it. I can't stand it. I have to use this shade Lime Chrome. Legitimately, possibly 20% of why I bought this palette. I'm just going to use my finger. I don't know why I keep trying to use this brush. Oh my goodness. Look at the color. This is really similar to a, a color that I have in the BH Zodiac palette. It's called Aquarius and it's like legitimately my favorite shade in that palette. Alright, lower lash line. I'm going to take that same tiny brush, 
go back into log, make sure we're connected at the outer V to the bottom lash line. And just bring that almost all the way in. to take a little bit of this shade right here which is called um, antique <laughs> no it's called Varus which if you're a Game of Thrones fan might mean something to you and I'm just gonna use this on the lower lash line just for a little bit of shimmer plus you know trying to use different shades in the palette so i'm just going to pull my essence pure nude highlighter from my summer shop my stash and use this on the inner corner because it is gold but it's very soft and very subtle and beautiful New for eyeliner, I did purchase the Marc Jacobs Highliner Matte Gel Eye Crayon in the shade Earthquake. My brown liner from Rimmel that I love finally kind of gave up the ghost. It was a sharpenable pencil and the as I would sharpen it, it would kind of break off in shards. And one day, I poked my eye really good. Not my eyeball, but like my eyelid, thank God. And that was it for me. I'm like, okay, we are done. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this mascara, but it is new to my collection. I got it as a sample at Target, and it is the Milani Highly Rated Mascara. This is amazing. Um, it might be my new favorite drugstore mascara. There's nothing really exciting when you look at it. It's a standard like Christmas tree shaped brush and everything, but I just love the way it makes my lashes look. It separates. It does give a little volume as well as a beautiful length to my lashes. Can you see how long and beautiful my lashes look? I can't stand it. It's so pretty. Alright, I have a handful of lippies over here that are new. There's a whole bunch you would have seen already in my summer shop your stash. And so I'm just going to briefly mention them. This is the L'Oreal Color Riche Shine in the shade Laminated Fuchsia. Absolutely gorgeous pink shade for summer. I have the Bobbi Brown Crushed Liquid Lip, which is actually a lip gloss that I am so excited about for summer. And then we have the Hourglass Unreal Lip Gloss. Mine is in the shade Sublime. This is very like a concealer lips shade for me, so I do like it for like the bottom lip and whatnot just to make it look fuller. And then I have the Jouer Long Wear lip topper in the shade Skinny Dip. It's just really beautiful, glittery, shiny, fun for summer. I have three that are not in my Shop My Stash for summer. Uh, the first one is the Velvet Matte Lip Pencil from NARS in the shade Bahama. This is a beautiful nude shade. And I did get that in a promo from Sephora. And then I picked up the L'Oreal Color Riche in the shade Saucy Mauve. And I was just kind of longing for a really beautiful mauve, like, bullet lipstick. So I got that. And then yesterday when my Natasha Denona Gold Palette arrived, I did receive this little sample Makeup Forever Artist Nude Cream Lipstick in the shade 08 touch. Alrighty, I think I'm going to try the Makeup Forever one. I don't know why, that's just what I decided. <laughs> mm. That is very comfortable. I'm guessing this is more like a liquefied lipstick like the NARS Power Matte Pigments, 
Um, I did swatch this on my hand yesterday and it never really set down, which is totally fine for me. I prefer a bullet or a liquefied lipstick over that full dry down. Um, and this color is gorgeous. It has a nice little shine to it. What are we thinking? So this is the finished look. I will definitely insert some close-up pictures for you guys in good natural lighting with my hair done. My hair is definitely not completely dry yet, so I don't want to take it out of the root clips just yet. Sorry about that. You've had to look at the wet dog look for the whole video, but such is life. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed playing with my new makeup with you guys. Now you have seen almost, yes, <laughs> of the new things that I picked up since my no buy ended. You'll be seeing a lot more of these products through the summer since they are in my summer shop, my stash, and I will be doing a get ready with me every single week. Let me know if you have any thoughts, ideas, or requests for any get ready with me's in specific. And with all of that said, I hope all of your makeup days are absolutely beautiful makeup days. And I will see you in my next video soon. Thank you.